Hey, Unstoppable fans, it's time for Hot Takes. I'm your host, Savannah Gaida. The rules here are simple. I'll ask a question to our two anchors, and they will get into heated arguments with each other for your viewing pleasure. First up today, men's and women's basketball. With both teams closing the regular season in the next few days, what were your favorite reporting experiences at either a men's or women's basketball game this season? Isabel, let's kick it off with you. Yeah, honestly, just to, you know, in general, this season has been by far one of the best seasons GW has had. Um, maybe not, you know, statistically, um, but definitely on the side of morale. It, the energy inside the Smith Center for almost every game has been amazing. Um, so it's really just been awesome to see that sort of transition into, a, you know, a, a deeper morale at games, and it's just been really fun to see that. Uh, my favorite memory from this season was being able to interview Utah Watanabe with Savannah, um, which was really cool to see um, a former GW basketball player who now plays in the NBA, um, being able to talk to him about his experience at GW and transitioning into the NBA on a professional level was really cool, um, and that I will always remember. Um, I would have to agree with, Savannah, uh, with um, Isabel about that too, because I think that this team is just been really incredible for my freshman year, at least um, coming into GW and seeing that development um, and kind of hearing about last semester and seeing that, um, hearing there wasn't a ton of morale and coming in and really being able to go to games and see that change and, and feel the energy in the Smith Center. Um, I think some of my favorite memories have just been doing games with both of you. It's been really fun. Um, also going to the game and seeing Sway Lee was pretty cool. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think that just every game is a new game and new experience, which has been really cool. Yeah, it's been a great season. Isabel, I'm going to have to give this one to you just because that is also my favorite memory this season. Our little improv to interview. <laughs> we ran onto that court. Yes. <laughs> it was, it was a very fun experience. <laughs> yes, definitely. We were there first. <laughs> Relentless journalism always. Um, that was definitely my favorite moment. And it's just been an incredible season. You know, I love doing the men's and women's games. I've done more men's than women's games. But even the women's games are fun sitting courtside. It's always a good experience. Next up, a question students at GW have been de debating for years. Can GW be considered a sports school, a school notorious for its winning sports and intense student fan base? Let's hear from our very own student athlete, Grace Stevenson. Well, Spen, I think this is a great question because um, I think when a lot of people think about a sports school, they think of football, they think of basketball, baseball perhaps, but there's so much more, and at GW especially, there's so many great teams that are kind of flying under the radar a bit. Um, and so I absolutely think that GW can be considered a sports school. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that just because you don't go to basketball games or you maybe like to go to a different sport, um, that's still absolutely a sports school. Yeah, I think I totally agree with you, Grace. Um, I, um, a lot of my friends go to consider like a sports school, like you said, by definition, big football schools. Um, and, you know, especially being here on Unstoppable, we, we do such a um, meticulous job of making sure we get every stat right and every, you know, fact about every athlete correct. And I think that in and of itself is sort of, um, in a way, becoming a sport, you know, contributing to that culture of a sports school um, and really just giving credit to those athletes that's, that do um, take the time um, and the energy to put in the, to, to be an athlete. And, um, so, yeah, I agree with Grace, like, you don't need to have a football team to be considered a sports school, and I think that um, the effort that the student athletes put in here at GW does indeed make this a sports school. Of course. Grace, you're going to win this one. Our own <laughs> student athlete who knows it all, has seen it all. I agree, though. We do so much. We cover so much sports. We really do a great job at it and we have a lot of great athletes, a lot of talent and of course the heart and soul of Georgia's army, George Glass with the hot dog suit and shark hat every <laughs> single basketball game. We, I would consider us a sports school. For our last question, which winter sports team do you believe does not receive enough fan recognition for their talents? Isabel, finish it off for us. Um, well, so this isn't a winter sport. This is a spring sport, um, but I'm going to go with the softball team um, just because we'll, we'll be talking. We've talked about them on the show today and um, they did an amazing job last season. 
um, by far one of the best seasons that GW's entire athletic program has seen. And the G they won the A-10 championships. And that's something that the GW community, I don't necessarily think rallied behind. Not just the sports community, but you know, the entire GW community really was not even aware of that. And um, these women have worked very, very hard. Me and Bella went out to interview them um, last season as they were moving into the A-10s. And it was the, the energy that that team had and not even the energy, but just the heart that, and soul that was on the field and the love that they had for each other, I truly believe is what brought them to where they are. Um, so I really hope that they can pull it together this season because they've gone, they've, they've worked too hard and have, you know, have too much love for each other to let that effort go. Um, so I think a lot of that comes from the GW community and offering support to them um, through this new season. Um, you know, they have five new freshman players. It's a lot of new talent to bring onto a team, especially after losing six or five or six of their old senior players. Um, so yeah, I do think that, you know, I know the question was winter sports, but I'm sticking with softball here. Um, they really do um, deserve a lot more credit for the work they do. Yeah, I think that um, there are a few sports that are outside of um, kind of the traditional scope of sports, be it um, like the last question, basketball, baseball, football, that whatnot. Um, I also think um, there's a lot, most of those tend to be spring sports, um, even though the question was winter. Um, I think sailing and rowing maybe in particular, just because um, those sports are less understood by the general population of people. And so by that, it doesn't necessarily attract as big of a fan base. Um, but those two sports are both incredibly difficult, both mentally and physically. Um, the rowing team is up at 5 a.m. every day going out on the water, um, and that takes so much commitment and so much drive. Um, same with the sailing team, and um, I think also just the, the physical location of it makes it difficult. I mean, they're on the river, and um, it's less easy to get to, but um, I think those two sports also deserve so much recognition as well. But really, every GW sport, um, because all student-athletes have incredible commitments. Of course, yeah, it's definitely a commitment, definitely takes a lot of work and effort. Isabel, I'm going to give this one to you because despite softball not being a winter sport, I do think that they are a great team and more people should go out to the Vern and watch them play. Personally, I also think that the women's swimming and diving team and the women's gymnastics teams are very great, very talented. The women's swimming and diving team just won the A-10 championship and I would love to see more people in the Smith Center pool cheering them on and just really giving them the recognition they deserve. Congratulations to our co-anchor Isabel Schmaler for winning today's Hot Takes. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at GW-TV. Or check out more packages and exclusive content like our interviews with the cross-country team and the tennis teams over on our Instagram page at GWTV underscore unstoppable. See you next time!